Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Juna and Irva. I would like to present today my latest junk journal, which is Rustic Botanical, and I called it Slow Awakening. Actually, I posted it yesterday on my Facebook and Instagram. And um, thank you for your amazing feedback, and uh, thank you for stopping by and saying a couple of a couple of very kind words and uh, I'm really impressed and I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted to have you there and um, to be some tiny piece of this wonderful community of crafters, of amazing artists who, who can share and who can, who can say good words to other artists okay let's let's call it let's call us crafters and uh, not just go and pass and just uh, don't stop by because really you know that uh, um, support is very important especially for us and uh, <laughs> for creative people for people who have to face the criticism uh, almost every day regardless of being creative or non-creative so once again thank you so much and i hope you'll enjoy because definitely the pictures uh, i could manage to post on uh, on facebook are not full and they they don't show the whole picture the general image of it and um, um actually yeah it's huge it's not just big it's it's huge and um it's more of a collectible item and piece than um, very utilitarian or very practically um, oriented. And I think that, um, but still there are some uh, empty clean pages there you can write there and uh, I can show how to do that even in the very textured, in the very textured pages, um, when you have a lot of textured pages and stuff. So let's get going. Uh, this is soft cover journal, and it means that uh, the cover is soft, in fact. Uh, it's padded with uh, some layers of fabric. Uh, there is no plastic inside, and it's just fabric, fabric, and fabric. And um, on the cover, you can see the shaker. The shaker puffy frame. Uh, as usual, it's full of seeds, dried seeds that I collected um, I've been collecting them actually for two years and these uh, this is the harvest from these two years and um, there is some stamping on the frame gessoing gessoing uh, is um, i use gesso all over the journal uh, these are the fabric flowers that i made maybe five years ago like maybe like the, as well as this frame and um, it has finally found its place its proper place i would say so these are the seeds and some stamping on, on the plastic and uh, the cover itself is um, made of linen, uh, different kinds of linen, cotton and uh, cheesecloth. Uh, this, is, this is handmade lace uh, and um, it's from Libby and you can see this is how wide it is. It's really, really wide. Um, and you can see, yeah, I shouldn't say that properly. And it has four signatures. They are hand sewn. Um, this is the back side. Um, small collage, some wooden, and a piece, a couple of plastic buttons, and as well a lot of lace. Um, lace is handmade and uh, mostly cotton lace because you know rustic rustic or cottage style or country style it's something very close to nature and to um, to country life so this is the closure as well cotton and uh, some strings and here it what it looks like when you open it it just falls open it's like i don't know it's for me I, you know, I treat my journals um, not as much for writing as for like texture and um, image experience or feeling the stuff, touching the stuff, 
listening to this stuff because uh, you can you can hear a lot of noises if you touch it. Okay, I would like to show you from the very beginning. So this is um, this is the cover inside. There are two pockets, cotton pockets actually. They are hand sewn. Uh, the cover is uh, machine sewn, machine stitched, and this one, uh, as for the majority of detail, uh, I did it by hand. And this is a card that you can use to take notes or just to decorate something inside. Mm. Well, handmade recycled paper with a specific texture of waffle. Um, blanket, blanket towel, yes, it's, we have kitchen towels um, made of waffle, uh, waffle fa fiber, fabric, fabric. And, um, and one more thing about uh, char characteristic for this journal, it's full of uh, different types of brown paper, wrapping paper as you call it. I, you know, I keep collecting different colors and shades and uh, textures, thickness whatsoever of wrapping paper. And I sometimes even know if I see something really, really not as brown as usual, I can ask some uh, shop assistants to give the wrappings to me when they, when they want to throw them away. Um, and I keep collecting all the different types of that because they create, you can see that they can create different patterns, this very gentle layering and um, shades of color. And the general, the general color scheme is um, actually uh, created and dominated, I would say, by this brown brown color. Um, uh, this is a leaf. Uh, if if any of you uh, has uh, has seen my my Facebook friends probably has seen my pictures from this summer. Uh, there were some white frame pictures or white plaques pictures. Um, where I filmed um, my 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 plaques, so called frames, yeah, uh, on the on the back of a um, well, and there was a leaf that fell itself on this well, and uh, this is exactly that leaf I kept it. Okay, uh, so this is the first signature. Uh, it's made of um, postal envelope. It's really old, you can see that inside, and I didn't have to distress it, it was just old. So this is the first part, um, one of my favorites, I mean one of my favorite techniques now, uh, apart from layering I use uh, collaging and uh, uh, this is a real, um, a genuine envelope from my childhood, it's about 90s, uh, end of 80s, the beginning of 90s. And this is a real one from my friend of childhood, and um, and here is the tag um, with some dried pressed grass collection from the previous year. Okay, yes, yes, um, I had a lot of questions about that. Yes, they are quite fragile because I didn't cover them on top. As you can see, they are really they are really puffy. Um, but I did it for the reason because um, they are more like a decoration and uh, uh, after all I didn't want to cover them with anything else, not to spoil the whole, you know, the whole atmosphere or the whole um, impression of being natural. Um, in fact, there are a lot of places to write and if you have any issues with writing against this, um, this surface, which is really, really not Mm, not very flat in fact I um, this is how I do that you can take um, any any notebook okay this is a notebook with my notes as you see and put it like this or you can take a piece of cardboard and write it's no problem at all like that yeah this is how I do that oh, sorry okay some skeleton leaves and uh, some pressed um, embossed, some embossed cardstock with beautiful images. Uh, this is one more memorabilia, actually this is a piece from a Russian, actually Soviet Union magazine from those days, it's uh, dated, uh, it dates back to 90s, 
and uh, this is a piece of a magazine uh, which is called which was called young nature lover i have a collection of, of the issue of some issues of some volumes and i use them from time to time here um, a lot of stamping and this was the reason why my previous video of this journal uh, was a failure a total wreck because actually when I filmed it and started to watch it, I understood that um, my fingernails, black uh, with distress ink, popped up more than the whole journal. And this is the name of the journal, of this magazine, and the date, 1990. Okay. So, one pocket with vellum, some printing, stamping, sorry. Uh, this is a tag uh, cut from die cut actually from one of the uh, botanical medical botanical books with botanical with medical plants and um, um, another piece of handmade paper this time it's made with red or pink peony leaves uh, petals in fact and it was made uh, um, a year and a half ago with what with rainwater as i told you this is still that i have a lot of I, I made a lot of pages then. Oh, one of the cuties. Um, it's quite primitive. It looks primitive, but in fact, it's um, a lot of fun to create. I just found a scheme. Uh, actually, this is not the first one. I created the same pattern a um, couple of years ago in one of my rustic journals that was sold this year uh, when I just started doing rustic. Um, and... Um, Actually, I, I have already done it, and um, you can pick any pattern from the from the internet and just just do it as children do uh, in their glue books or whatever. Um, okay, this is the the last page of um, the first signature, and actually this is made with a flip, and flip is made with a paper bag, uh, which uh, which can be used as a pocket. Actually. <laughs> there must be something here, yeah. There is a tag. And you know, uh, this time I um, combined, combined, yeah, I combined um, stamped tags. They're stamped with um, distress ink, so it's going to fade even more. And uh, with natural flowers or natural plants, pressed plants. So I just combine, combine them. And yes, you can write on the back side. And... Um, so this is uh, the collage with a another piece of the envelope. This is it, um, and uh, you can see something too. You can s you can see it through. Uh, this is the calendar page, and uh, this place can be easily used for writing. And uh, this is the inside of an envelope where you can I put this page, uh, this piece for you to write, and um, uh, you can add pictures or any um, dried herbs or whatsoever. So this is one more a picture from a botanical Russian book. And uh, this is the way, this is a closure, metallic closure, you can close it like that. Uh, the, this, the inner part of the cover is made of waffle, um, towel, fabric and uh, at the same time with this uh, lace which is curtain lace um, it's really I wouldn't call it antique or I wouldn't call it um, something like very um, like vintage but it's about 80s because that was very popular in those days in the Soviet Union uh, in the countryside um, my granny had this kind of curtains all over the place and she used to live in a countryside, in a country house. So this is uh, for everybody who lived in uh, in my country. This is uh, they remember this thing. I mean, those days definitely. Now everything is synthetic, and this is uh, genuine, and uh, it's cotton, and I have it since the, those days. Um, some more collagen, collagen with, uh, and yes, this is one of you ladies asked said that. I commented that it looks like a window with a curtain. In fact, it is. It's a window and this is a curtain and I intended it to look like a curtain and I'm happy that at least one of you 
I have noticed this this tiny detail and yes yeah, so this is the pressed leaf on the back and uh, some die cuts and some another page from um, the young nature Lover magazine and another college college this is the picture um, made by sketched by my daughter Kate I have a couple of them all over this all over this journal and some burlap, uh, a lot of texture and different types of paper, it's like, like that. Some stamping and collaging and um, collaging, yeah. So, some more tags, stamps and plants, okay. Uh, this is actually baking paper, it's very soft, um, but it creates beautiful sound i like produces nice sound i like it uh, this is cotton and uh, some collagen probably yeah and some um chipboard and different types of pages i usually combine lots of them oh this is one more shaker mm, it's one of my favorites i mean this is one of my favorite types of shakers and you can see some natural seeds, a lot of seeds actually from my garden, some leaves and uh, even some sequins, and printing, it's a lot of stamping and a lot of things uh, to look at. One more page with pockets and with stamped tags. One is stamped, the other is this. You see, yeah, it's loose. Uh, I'm trying not to be too hard on it, uh, but still the lower layer is glued. Um, anyway, anyway, it should be carefully treated, as any natural fragile thing we have. Okay, uh, this is one more collage. Uh, this is, um, in fact, flex fiber, real flex fiber. It's not synthetic and uh, some lace, uh, some burlap string, just don't remember what, what we call it. And this is a small die cut uh, with, uh, that I covered with different types of uh, distress ink and then glossy accent to create these berries. Yeah. And it's also hand, hand sewn. I, I stitched it to the paper to be safer. Okay, some more pages. So this is another picture or sketch by my daughter. She was very kind to do to, to make a couple of them for me. Stamping and uh, another plant from my garden. It has very velvet touch. If you touch it, it's like velvetish, and it's also hand stitched with different types of fabric, different textures. One more page with a specific uh, tea bag label. Uh, we have this tea in Belarus. Uh, it's not local, but still, no, it's not locally produced. But it's called Herbarium. Isn't it cute? Like, it fits the topic or the theme of the journal perfectly well. Um, this is a tiny composition of different plants and flowers, uh, both die cuts and fussy cut images. And uh, on the background, you can see the pressed flower glued beneath all of them as well. And you can, yes, write something there. Um, so this is the back of the second signature. It's burlap with a card, cardboard or cardstock frame and uh, a maple leaf from, from the street, yeah, from the outside. Okay. Um, my favorite, one of my favorites now, I'm just doing and using them everywhere. Uh, this is the bookmark made of, uh, made with a tiny bottle and uh, a lot of seeds inside. Uh, one more page with handmade paper, recycled paper. I don't remember which type of recycled paper that is. It's, this one is made with lilac, lilac from, this is the, the, um, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's just lilac. Um, forget it. <laughs> and uh, some lace. Uh, again, brown paper. Stamping. Just whatnot. And yeah, and I used a lot of brads there. All of them are um, 
pure metal um, imitating the natural color of uh, metal that is usually used um, as nails or hinges in, in country houses. Okay, the beginning of the third signature is actually uh, the pocket. One more stamp, stamped tag. And um, there are some pockets. You can put uh, something here or there. Um, this one is the topper that I made. Uh, I die cut some piece of plastic and uh, added, fixed uh, some flower on it, dried flower, and then added some more media and got this result. Chipboard die cuts, that's simple, and hand stitched, yes. Hand stitching is primitive and uh, I didn't care, I just couldn't care less about the neatness of the stitches because this style is just uh, freedom, freestyle, like whatever, you know. Um, this is not what I'm trying to do in this type of journals. Okay, some stamping. Uh, one more co collage. Uh, this time it's made with a lot of die cuts. This is cork, piece of cork, and this is a very unique and rare species of maple. We don't have a lot of them here. Uh, this piece or seed, maple seed, uh, I found it in the botanical garden here in Minsk. We normally don't have these red seeds, we usually have yellow, so it's quite, it's quite unique. Um, my new find, this kind of um, <laughs> arrangement, let's call it so, this is a small icon, a, a, icon, icon, right, sorry. I like, well, I did it myself, I mean, hand stitched it, and um, I wouldn't say I enjoy cross stitching but big things for sure now but such small tiny pieces matching the leaves the oak leaves beneath like they, they make sense and this is an envelope which actually is a page and at the same time it's an envelope with some extra um, also piece of fabric, it's linen as far as I remember, for fl well, flax is fiber and a plant, and this is linen as, a, as, as fabric. And one more tag, I guess it matches the style of rustic journal very, very well. Uh, this is another flip uh, with a natural plant, with a real, real plant and um, covered with just a net and um, you can put a picture or any tag here uh, this is a frame the frame is loose it's not fixed it's not glued uh, all over and uh, you can see the cheap board name here botanica uh, it's quite fragile and i still didn't fix it so you can move it um, carefully and I added some sequins just to give the transparency a little bit of a of a <laughs> mysterious look. This is a one another tag made of a botanical book, of a page of a botanical book, and uh, it can be put here. And uh, you can see um, some place where you can put a picture or anything you would like to put there. Okay, paper, paper clip. Um, the end of signature three. Again, different types of brown paper, um, coffee dyed cotton, and uh, another type of handmade recycled paper. This time it's made with uh, marigold seeds and um, some other seeds as well, as far as I see. And the last one, um, the last one with paper lace with a twig, actually it's not a twig, it's a stem of some grass with some seeds on it and a natural lace. Also this is a paper bag where you can put and keep uh, memorabilia, notes, pictures, whatever. One more plant tag and one more pocket. A hidden pocket with um, 
you, you can see one pocket is made of uh, of lace and one is made of uh, the back side of a car corrugated cardstock i would say that this cardboard is really like it, it may be I, I guess it's about maybe 20 years old or i don't know because we found it uh, in our country house um, it was just kind of a box and when I took it, it just literally fell into pieces in my hands. And um, it fell into two beautiful parts. This one, and then I will show you another part with corrugated uh, side, which I also used here. It's it's very old, but I still have some pieces. One more shaker with a wild um, strawberry, maybe, yeah, um, leaf inside. And textured cardstock and this is it this is another side or the other part of this corrugated cardboard box and uh, it feels very rough and it's really old but the color is tremendous uh, this is my favorite now it's very popular I like it very much and I put it in almost all my work uh, works connected with botanical topic or theme it's um, cotton flower and uh, imitation of uh, cotton buds or cotton um, balls that I, I, I create them with cotton wool and some stamping on the dictionary page and uh, another yet one more type of uh, uh, recycled handmade paper and yet one more type I don't remember which which uh, type of brown paper and one more picture sketch from my young artist and uh, one more shaker with leaves and seeds stamping writing spaces and uh, um, another pocket made of envelope with sequins the sequins are loose there I don't fix them I just want them to be free <laughs> And uh, this is another tag that I got from the book. And another tag, which is here in the frame. And uh, this is the paper clip, and you can put it out easily. Uh, one more color, collage. Uh, you can see this is a piece of an envelope as well. The, the same old envelope, and this is a piece of my letter, real one. So all the ephemera, it's like, it's genuine. Everything is really genuine here. Stamping, collaging, collaging, just like that. And one of my favorite pages, I just don't know, it's a new composition I, um, I came up with. Um, with this thread. This is a paper leaf actually it's not natural because otherwise it wouldn't uh, have, it wouldn't have tolerated all this. Uh, all this pressure uh, it's made of uh, I just don't remember don't remember craft core cut stock something like that yes die cut and uh, some layers of different types of strings and fabric and wooden buttons and yet another green um, gr sorry green gray brown paper piece and a lot a little pocket here with with real lace handmade and another and this is the back the end of the journal um, and I couldn't I just can't leave my pages without anything because for me it's more like a toy you know it's like a toy it's like um, something that you open and keep opening tying untying and you see different pieces and uh, you always find something hidden inside it's like we used to have this kind of books in the childhood with 3d images uh they're so-called pop-up and um, when you opened it the whole picture like became 3d opened up and uh, maybe this is why i still keep loving them so much so a lot of die cuts burlap this kind of uh, and this one is chipboard plant Actually, this is uh, some tiny notepad and um, 
I didn't do a lot of stamping here. And here is an envelope uh, where you can find a tea bag. And uh, actually, this is the wrapping of a tea bag. Uh, the name is Kalilaska. It's the kind of tea they produce here in Belarus. And a small, some small tag die cut from a, the page. Uh, another envelope with another die cut from a book page. Just believe me. And uh, this is the tiny. And you can flip it and see another secret space. Uh, see, well, um, you can see this is uh, the stamped flower tag and a place to put your picture or anything else. And then you can, to keep it safe, not to let it open, you can actually tie it and uh, be sure everything is in its places. And the last tripod pocket on the back side. Uh, it has a tag with some seed image and uh, a printed, I'm sorry, stamped tag. A lot of stamping on the pocket, one of the pockets, which is coffee dyed. And some more tag. The one is stamped and the other is with a pressed flower. Pressed. Actually, maybe it's not. Ah, yeah. And the pocket is double. I mean... Uh, I mean one and the second side because uh, it used to be a bag for seats. Now it's a pocket for tags or whatever you want to put there. And yes, um, a tiny funny pencil that you can take with you to take notes during your trips or just to write something down. It's easy to um, erase it if you decide to change something in your notes. So this is the way we close it and this is the huge, huge, I just don't know. <laughs> um, this is a huge thing but still it's, it's about abundance you know and uh, as awakening takes a long time um, this journal took me, it has taken me more than a month and uh, some pieces uh, in this journal were made as, a, as you remember many years ago and um, I had be before um, before the end, uh, it's not just the end but bef finally before ending the line of rustic journals um, for this time, for this period of year I had to put a bold, a big point, and that's it. I think a full stop, like, okay. I wouldn't call it a full stop, in fact. More like a comma, but... Um, um, in fact, now I'm going to work on a smaller size journals and not rustic, not this kind of type style. Maybe Christmas, maybe winter, maybe tea journals. Um, it depends on the mood and on the amount of time I have. I will definitely make something simpler. and um, But I don't know when, why and how. Not now. Everything is like, you know, uh, quite ambiguous. Anyway, um, I'm happy to be done with this. And uh, thank you so much for your sweet response. For your feedback and for being with me um, take care and bye bye